Hi, my name is Sarah Krocek. I'm a business and management student at the Leeds Beckett University. And in today's vlog, I will be explaining different consumer behavior using different theories and models. First of all, let's talk about the marketing, as this is the process that attracts the customers to buy the product or service in the first place. Marketing is the management process of identifying a gap in the market in creating a product or service to satisfy customer requirements and needs. This process is important as the world and customer needs are constantly changing and evolving. And as this change, it is vital that the organization evaluate the changing environment for an audit. This audit could be external or internal. Now, let's talk about the consumers. So, there's three main types. First type is the B2B consumer, which is a business to business. Second one is the B2C, which is a business to consumer, which I'll be talking about in greater depth later on in the vlog. And the last one is the B2G, which is a business to government. Now, a customer behavior is the process of customer going through a thinking process before making a purchase. This depends on the preferences, attitude and the type of adapters they are. This also depends on the type of purchase being made. There's three main types. The first one is the routine problem solving purchase. These are either imports or habitual purchases which are inexpensive and carry no risk. This is something like a coffee, bread or milk, something that you do on a day and buy on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the second one is a limited problem solving purchase. These are less frequent and require more deliberate decision process and are moderately expensive, carry limited risk. This is something like a pair of shoes or a new jumper. Lastly, there is an extended problem solving purchase. These are extremely infrequent purchases with a long-term commitment, a large investment of money and they carry a high risk. This is something like a new house or a car. For my extended problem solving purchase, which was my car insurance, I have used the Gonze and Richards decision making model, which you can also compare to the purchase cycle funnel, as they also have both of them have six stages, and the stages are relatively similar. The first stage is the problem recognition. For me, this has occurred when I have received an email informing me about my current insurance running out in a month. Therefore, I knew I needed to either continue with the current one or find a better one as it's a legal requirement to insure your car. Next stage is the information stage. For this step, I have used the internet, which is one of the newest and most used innovation in marketing. To use the internet, I have been inspired by seeing the website being advertised on my television and often I have also seen it advertised on my phone and social media. The internet made it quick and easy for me to find different insurance companies which I could later then compare. Step 3 was the information evaluation. After typing in all my details, the website provided me with thousands of different quotes. For me as a student, the price and safety are the two main factors affecting my decision. Therefore, I have filtered them ascending in price and picked the top 10 to analyze. I have read all the reviews and all the information provided to analyze which insurance company would suit, my, suit me best and my car and my lifestyle. About stage 4 and stage 5 I'll be talking about in the same time. Stage 4 is the purchase decision and stage 5 is the post-purchase decision behavior. So, my decision was to go with a company called Modern Smart Wheels as it was relatively cheap but included a lot of cover for different types of events that could happen and as a new driver that was really important to me. The downside was that it had a telematic box which means that I was restricting with the miles I could use. However, I didn't find that a problem as as a student and a part-time worker I don't have much time or income that allows me to travel alone therefore I didn't need much miles. I have also used the word of mouth from my friends that told me about this insurance company and all the opinions were always positive. Stage 6 is the feedback prior to the next decision. So next year I'll have to decide again if I want to continue with this insurance or if I want to switch. So far I think yes, however, this is not an easy process as this depends on the service provided throughout the year as this is not a frequent decision. I will have to think throughout all the different events that happen, if the service is professional, if the help if needed is really quick. And that will help me to decide on to the next year if I want to stay with this company or not. Thank you all for listening. I hope this explains my behavior as a consumer well. And all the references will be linked in the box description below.